ونثبت أخبار الصفات جميعها and we affirm all of those attributes that Allah has mentioned to us that belong to him سبحانه وتعالى ونبرأ من تأويل من كان يجحد and we are free from any تأويل of those who try to negate Allah's names and attributes anyone who tries to uh, distorts the meaning of what is apparent of his names and attributes he said the rahman astawa then we affirm that Allah is above the arsh he's above the arsh in his being he's above the arsh in his status he's above the arsh in his rank the ashaira they want to be clever they come and they say he is above the arsh yes but only in his rank and status not in his being not in his essence but what did the scholars say did they say that did imam malik rahimullah say that no did ibn abi zayd al qirawani al maliki in the 4th century did he say that more than 1000 years ago for you to come and say it means that did he say that no he said wa anna allah ala al arsh bi dhatihi allah is above the arsh by his essence look he said it by his essence can you get any clearer than that wa anna allah fawq al arsh bi dhatihi wa huwa fi kulli makan bi ilmihi and he is everywhere in terms of his knowledge and sufyan al thawri rahimahullah when he is asked wa huwa ma'akum ayna ma kuntum somebody mentioned to him the verse and he's with you wherever you are he said bi ilmihi with his knowledge he's with you with his seeing he's with you his hearing is with you but allah subhanahu wa above the arsh in a way which befits his majesty he's not everywhere as many muslims they believe if you ask them where is allah say everywhere allah is not everywhere his knowledge yes he knows everything he's seeing he sees everything he hears he hears everything but allah is above the arsh allah is above the arsh in a way which befits his majesty because ilayhi yas'adu al-kalim al-tayyib wal-amal al-salih yarfa'uh to him rises the good speech and the good actions make it rise even higher to who to allah why is it we raise our hands up why is it your highest part of your body goes to the lowest of the ground for who for allah who is above you one time it was raining aisha radhiyallahu anha was outside with the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the rain was falling down upon them And he said, "What did the messenger Sallam said? It came from the one above. It came from the, from Allah. But you see, the Ash'aris, this misguided group, who try to be clever, they try to say that, well, if you are saying Allah is above the arsh, you're putting Allah in the direction, and you're putting Allah in the place. We say to them, don't use your your limited intellect." We have not been told how but we believe it because this is what Allah and his messenger Sallallahu told us and this is what the messenger the sahaba the companions accepted and they never questioned so now you come after 1400 years with your name with your letters after your name was it before your name before your name before your name doctor fulan huh? but you don't have the understanding of the sahaba the companions and the and the pious predecessors who came before you and all of a sudden you think you can understand islam better than them imam malik rahimahullah said la yuslihu akhira hadhihi al umma illa ma aslaha awwal awwalaha illa ma aslaha awwalaha illa ma aslaha awwalaha except that which we rectified the first part nothing we rectified the latter part of this umma except that which reflect, uh, rectified the first part What was that, what that what was it that re- rectified the first part Quran and Sunnah and answer sahaba that is what rectified the first part so if you're not upon the way then then how can you be guided as imam malik rahimahullah again said ma lam yakun yawma idin din lam yakun al yawma dina that which was not deen then cannot be deen now that which was not deen then cannot be deen now so that's it we don't have any addition to add to it So we say to those Ash'ari, the Ash'aris, misguided group, we say to them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already affirmed that for himself, that he's above the arsh. And their companions already affirmed that. The Prophet affirmed it. And the scholars of Ahl sunnah wal-Jama'ah, they already affirmed it, that he is above the arsh by his essence. 
not just only by his honor and his uh, 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 rank and his status, but also by his essence, he's above the arsh. To deny that is to deny an attribute from the attributes of Allah, and that is Allah rises above the arsh. Allah ascends above that. To deny that is to deny that which Allah affirmed for Himself. You will next deny another attribute of Allah. Because it just one leads to another. In the end, you deny Allah.